praises what I do. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. That's what Amen. should be coming out of our the pores of our skin. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Praise is what I do. Yeah. When people see us, they ought to know something about us. Amen. Amen. If they don't know nothing else about us, they ought to know praise is what I do. Hallelujah. What a beautiful song. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Praise is what I do. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, someone may ask you what you do for a living. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let's sing. Praise is what I do. Praying for the needs of other people. Amen. Glory be to 
Glory be to God. That's how Job finally got his final blessing. Amen. Praise be to God. Because the Bible says he prayed for his friends. He took his eyes off his own circumstances, off his own life, and then he began to pray. And the Bible says that the Lord blessed him multitudes of times over. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we want to thank you and praise you right now and glorify you, Lord God. Father God, for, uh, for what you're doing today by your divine spirit. Father God, we are praising you because, Lord God, we know praise is what you look for from your people. And, Lord God, we just ask in the name of Jesus the Christ right now that you would touch each and every one, Father, those, Father God, who came forward and those, Father God, who remain there where they are, Father, we ask, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you touch their hearts, their minds in a very powerful way, Father. For Father God, we need you today. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father God, we declare help in every
as they stand before us, Lord God, and yes, Lord. give the word and preach the word, Father God, uh -huh. and lead by your divine spirit as a servant of yours, Lord yes, God. We just want to thank you today in the name yes, of Jesus Christ, Father God, that all is well, all, all is well in Jesus' yes, name, all is well in yes, Jesus' sir. name, and we receive it by faith. Father God, we just bless your name and we glorify you. Yes, sir. In the mighty name of Jesus, the living Christ, Father God, we truly yes, are. Thank you. Amen. 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 We have a special need that you have right now. We want to pray with you right now. If you have a special need, you've been asking the Lord about something, you have a special need, we want to pray for you right now. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. The word of God tells us to, to, to come together and pray for one another. Yeah. And I just want to say this in the name of Jesus Christ. There are many churches today, and we need to yes, pray Lord. that no longer pray for those who are sick. No longer do that any longer because they believe it takes just too much time. And you know what it is? It's because they just don't want to believe God. Right. Amen? Praise be to God. Let me tell you something. You can't teach a devil out of nobody. You can't preach a devil out of nobody. You can't heal nobody by just to preach word. The word of God said, lay hands upon the sick and they shall be covered. Amen? Lord, that's the part of this of the church. Yes, Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. But Lord God, what we know is that you are quick working God, Lord God, when we call upon you. And Lord God, we know in Jesus' name, you said that we ask, and if we believe, we shall receive. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we are ready in the receiving mode right now. In Jesus' name, we come to this God. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen. that yes. once you send a servant out, Lord God, yes. that temptation will come on every hand, Lord yes. God. Lord. And yes. Father yes. God, and so we ask in Jesus' name yes. Jesus. that you will protect her, that you will guide her, you will put a protection God. around her and yes. her family, Lord yes. God. Yes. And Father God, they will need you at this time, Lord yes. God. Yes. Anytime, Father, we stand up for you, yes. Lord yes. God, the devil oh, will yes. try to Father God, destroy whatever, Father, we just ask in Jesus' name. Yes, God. And we believe right now, Father, the head of protection is there. Lord God, we just thank you and praise you, Lord God. Guide them, guide them by your spirit, Father. Every decision that they make, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, the living Christ. Lord God, we pray in Jesus' name. Continue, Father God, to give her the understanding and, and the wisdom, Lord God, for even those who give, Lord God, even those who bless, Lord God, that they don't somehow, Father God, give so that they might continue control from the outside. Yes. Father God, give her the wisdom to know the difference, Lord God. Yes. Lord God, though it be a hundred thousand dollars, Lord God, let yes, us put it back in their hands, Lord God, yes, so God. we will do no good for the yes, works, God. Lord God, that you intend to do. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. Amen. 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 Amen.
Gnosticism. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah. Amen. There was a variety of mixed false teaching going on. Right, right, right. Amen. Uh -huh. and, and these types of false teaching that was going on all around hmm. emphasized on human knowledge. Yes. Yeah. Come on now. And denying Christ all right. now, as God. Yeah. Come on now. And yeah. Savior. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And, and whenever you find mixed and false teaching mm -hmm. in the building. Yes. There's going to be a form of confusion. Right, 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 Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Whenever you mix false teaching yeah. and true doctrine, yeah. there's going to be some confusion. Yeah. Amen. Because the two just don't mix. Yeah. Amen. Some folks prefer to hear gossip mm -hmm. rather than the gospel. All right. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. Some folks prefer to hear all about the week's mess mm -hmm. rather than to learn about the Messiah. Yeah. All right. Some folks prefer to hear all about the stars in the sky. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than the one who made the stars. Right. Yeah. Some oh. folks will drop whatever they're doing when the topic of angels are being discussed. Yeah. But they refuse to call on the name in whom the angels worship. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Any kind of false teaching in the building. It is designed to disconnect us yeah. as believers in Christ. Yeah. Amen. That's what it's designed for, is to separate us and to yeah. disconnect us yeah. from Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. And I serve notice this morning, my brothers and sisters, that we must stay connected yeah. to Christ. Yeah. Because... The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. Amen. Our souls this morning is in jeopardy. Amen. So we need to stay connected with Christ. Amen. Exposure to such teaching, it could easily seduce a church that does not have sound doctrine. Right. Amen. All right. yeah. and, and it's always easy to confuse somebody. But when you don't have sound doctrine in your heart, yeah. you will fall for the okie doke every single time. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. So the ideas sounded, the false teaching ideas, it sounded attractive. Yeah. But it had a destructive ending. Yeah. Amen. Uh, because Proverbs 16 25 says, There is a way yes. that seemeth right, right. right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yes. Amen. So, so false teaching seems right, Come on, uh, but there is a destructive ending to it. Yes. Amen. And, and false teachers have kept strongly infiltrated. The church right. at Colossus. Yeah, yeah. These false teachers were proud of their own humility. Yeah. Amen. They, they brought attention and praise to themselves right. rather than God. Right. Amen. They, they practiced self sinfulness mm -hmm. and self righteousness, yeah. Yeah. which led others to believe that they were all spiritually sound. We have to be careful this morning. False teachers also claim that God was far away and could only be approached through the angels. Amen. They, they, they thought that people had to worship angels in order to reach God. Amen. The, the, the word teaches that angels are God's 
serves and forbids worshiping him. That's sound doctrine. Exodus 23 says, Thou shalt have no other God Come on now. before me. Yeah. Amen. So we have to be careful with these false teachers. Yeah. Amen. They were committed to the law and denied the author that that authored that same law. Yeah. Amen. Come on, Amen. They were committed to the law. But they denied the author of the law. Come on now. Come on now. Just like reading a book from an author and, and you don't believe everything in the book, but you don't believe the author wrote it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The, the, the fundamental problem with the false teachers was that they were not connected to Christ. Wow. And can I tell you that when you're not connected to Christ, yeah. you will fall and say anything. Yeah. And makes you an, in an individual that is considered dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. They were not connected to Christ. Wow. Amen. And can I just warn you that whenever you are in the presence of someone who is not connected with Christ, you have to watch those individuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I encourage you this morning to never ever turn your back on them. Because they're liable to do anything to you. Yeah. Amen. All right, brother. Amen. Yeah. So when you are connected to Christ, you will flee the eye concept. Yeah. All right. Amen. Y'all know what the eye concept is? Yeah. I did this. Yeah. I did that. Yeah. I want this. I want that. Yeah. When you are connected with Christ, you will flee the eye concept. Yeah. And, and, and display a strong desire to be connected with Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Because when you're connected with Christ, I no longer live within me. Uh -huh. But it's Christ that lives within me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. It's no longer an individual walk in the world, but now you're walking with Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. So, so Paul countered the false teaching by stressing Christ's deity and his connection with the Father yeah. and his sacrificial death on the cross for sin. Uh -huh. and, and you know, the only way to defeat false teachers is to preach Christ. Yeah. The only way to defeat false teaching is to acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yeah. They don't want to hear sound doctrine. All right. So when you consistently teach and preach sound doctrine, false teachers will have to flee. Yeah. Amen. Paul pointed out with conviction that Jesus was fully human and also fully divine at the same time. Yeah. That's the only way you can defeat false teachers. Yeah. Is you have to build up Jesus Christ because it was all him that died for our sins. Whenever false teachers talk about angels, you say Jesus even lied. Yeah. Whenever they talk about the law, you say Jesus even lied. Yeah. Hey Amen. That's the only way to defeat yeah. false teachers. Yeah. Hey Amen. You build up the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hey Amen. The author and finisher of our faith. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Amen. You make him your conversation at work. Yeah. You make him your conversation at home. Yeah. You make him your conversation on the streets. Yeah. That's the only way false teachers will flee. Yeah. You build up the name of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, so Paul explained in, in, in the previous chapters that, that we are bought with a price. Yeah, 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 yeah. By the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We're bought with a price. So, 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 since we were bought with the with a price of Jesus Christ's blood, then we have to lift him up yeah. as high as we can and as often as we can. Yeah. Yeah. He's worth it this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The death of Jesus he freed us from a life of sin. Yeah. 
Jesus died in our place All right. so that we might live yes, and have a right to yes. the tree of life. Amen. Right. Amen. Since we've been set free from death yeah. and sin, the question is, why do we still choose to walk as dead men and women? Right. Why do we choose to walk as dead men and women? Yeah. Since we've been free from death and sin, yeah. right. amen, we should not be able to walk in the world's way. Right. We should not be able to walk in sin no longer amen. because we've been free. All right. Yeah, still striving to make a good impression on our on others. Yeah. Still striving for self gratification mm. in order to please ourselves. All right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. But we've been set free from sin, yeah. set free from death. Yeah. So all we have to do now is walk in glory, yeah. Yeah. walk in Christ. Yeah. Amen. My first argument this morning, I want to remind you to focus on your truth. Focus on your transition. Don't you know that when you were in, 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 in sin, you walked the world's way? Amen. Amen. Now that you're in Christ, you're walking in righteousness. Amen. 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 We're no longer under the bondage of sin. So we don't have to walk on eggshells anymore. Right. We no longer, yeah, we no longer have to. Abide by sin's rules. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because Romans 5 and 8 said, But God commended his love yes, for yes. us. Right. In that while we were yet yes. sinners, yes, sir. Christ died yes. for us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Before we could even think about loving God, he loved us in spite yes. of us. Yes, yes, yes. In spite of our ugly ways, oh, yes, he loved us in spite of us. In spite of our Believers have died with Christ. Amen. And are no longer under the evil powers of this sinful world. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because the world has no more ownership of us. Right. Because Jesus died for our sins. Right. He freed us from this sinful world. Amen. But still in all, some of us still live a life like we're still under the bondage of the world. Amen. The death and resurrection of Jesus Christ released us from a sure destination to Him. Amen. We were we were destined for Him. Yeah. But Jesus' death yeah. saved us and set us on another path. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Which is the path of righteousness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. The death of and resurrection of Jesus Christ caused a divine connection between man and Jesus. Yes. Thank God for Jesus this morning. Yes. Yes. Amen. The death and resurrection also caused a smooth transition from this side of consciousness to the other side. It caused a smooth transition for all mankind from death unto life. Yes, sir. Enable us to love the fellow man. Uh -huh. Amen. So, so Paul declared, he said, since we've been risen with Christ, he said, seek those things which are above. Yeah. Yeah. Since we've been risen with Christ, he said Paul was reminding the Colossians to, to strive to put heaven's priorities into your daily practice. Right. Amen. Amen. We, we, we sometimes live reckless lives because the heaven is not our priority. Yeah, yeah, Don't you yeah. know that when you die from this world, you have to go somewhere. Yeah. And I prefer that somewhere be heaven. Yeah. So therefore, if you seek to go to heaven, then your priorities on earth should be heaven. All right. Right now. Yeah. Amen. I might be sick with no cure in sight. But one thing I do know is that heaven is my home. Yeah. Amen. Because I'm aiming high, y'all. I'm aiming high. Why am I aiming high? Because Jesus Christ is high. Yeah. He is in heaven. Yeah. 
Not only do we have to focus on the transition, but we must avoid what's temporary. Amen. Avoid what's temporary. Everything the world offers is only temporary. Paul declared, set your affection on things above. And the word affection refers to the mind. Paul was encouraging the believers to set their minds on things above. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And, and when we are in the world, when we were in the world, we were lovingly embracing the world's paths. Yeah. We did everything we could in order to embrace the world's paths. Yeah. Mm. Now that we are converted to God, we have to embrace those things which are above. Yeah. Just as we embrace the things in the world, we have to embrace God equally and more apart. Amen. We have to embrace His love. That only His love comes from above. Yes, we have to embrace the joy that only He gives. Yeah. We have to embrace the peace yes. Yes. that succumbs all understanding. Yes. Yeah. We have to embrace the happiness, yes. his long suffering, mm -hmm. his grace, and his mercy mm -hmm. from above, where Jesus sits at the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. We got to focus not on things on earth all right. because it's only temporary. Yes, sir. Amen. Now, I want y'all to listen to this good because it has some, some, some importance. It says, to have power and financial control over the entire world means you have gained nothing and lost everything. Yes, sir. In other words, you can fight as long as you want to fight in order to gain power and finances. But the end result is that you will gain nothing yeah. and lose your soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matthew 16, 26 said, Jesus said, For what is a man profit if yeah. he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? Yeah. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Yeah, yeah. In other words, as long as you're spinning your weeds, in order to accomplish power and position in the world. Ultimately, you will gain nothing and lose everything. So I'd rather set my priorities on heaven's body. Because I know that the world offers nothing. And everything the world offers can, cannot go to heaven with me. It's only temporary. Amen. We spend too much time seeking worldly pleasure and possessions. All right. it, it, it oftentimes causes God to be placed on the back burner. Yes, sir. Yeah, so yes, we sir. have to be careful how we entertain pleasure and how we go forth for possession yes, and power. Yeah. Amen. Because somehow, some way, God will be placed on the back burner. Yeah, yeah. And he said, I would have yeah. no other God before me. Yeah. So yeah, you're going to yeah, end up yeah. gaining nothing and losing everything. Mm -hmm. Jesus said that a world of pleasure centered on possessions, on. positions, and power is worthless. It's only temporary. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever we have on earth is only temporary. Yeah. And it cannot be exchanged for our soul. Yeah. That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard in my life. We cannot exchange anything for our soul. No, no. Amen. Believers must make the pursuit of God more important than the selfish pursuit of worldly pleasure. Yes. We have to pursue God more than pursuing worldly pleasure. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. We must avoid what's, avoid what's temporary because we are dead to the world. Yeah. 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 Dead to sin yeah. and dead to earthly flesh. Yeah. Now that 
you've been saved, set free, and sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, the things of the world should not appease us. Yeah. It should not interest us. Yeah. Because our mind and our priorities are in heaven. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Avoid what's temporary. According to your profession of faith, uh -huh. we should no longer strive to satisfy the appetite for the things of this world. Yeah. Paul said in Romans 6 and 2, he said, God forbid, how shall we that are dead in sin yeah. live any longer therein? We're dead to sin, so therefore we should not have to live in sin any longer. All right, God. Amen. Amen. Just as Christ laid in the tomb. I picture him laying in the tomb, and now that we are united with Christ, yeah. we became dead in sin to the worldly influence, pleasures, and ambition. Mm -hmm. That stuff should no longer appease us. Because now we're in Christ. Yeah. And those yeah. things do not affect Christ. All right. All of the things above. Right. Yeah. We ought to respond to worldly things as though they are dead. Uh -huh. Paul said, your life is here mm -hmm. with Christ. Yeah. And not only with Christ, but in God. Yes, sir. Yeah. We died to one class of objects. Yeah. Mm. But we were made alive to us. Yes. Because we are united with Christ. Uh -huh. Amen. Mm -hmm. And in his death. Yeah. Yes. Our lives are secured, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Don't have to worry about the world coming after us anymore. Uh, Lord. Uh, Lord. We are safely deposited into the loving arms of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No need to worry no more. All right. You are safe and secure. With Christ in God. Yeah, my Lord. You don't have to worry anymore mm. because Jesus is with you. Yeah. Yeah. And God is looking down. Yeah. He said, I will always be by your side. Yeah. Yeah. We are protected on every side, I'm telling you. Uh -huh. Because Jesus is on the right side. Uh -huh. Holy Spirit is on the left side. Yeah. And God is everywhere else. Where is me? So I'm trying to tell you this morning that you are secure and protected in Christ. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere you go this morning, God is right there. Yeah. Amen. We must focus on the, tr the transition and avoid what's temporary. Yeah. Finally, my dear brothers and sisters. We have to take hold of your treasures. Mm, right. You have to take hold of your treasures. You have been laboring in the vineyard for mighty long time. Yeah. In Christ's namesake, you took on the role of a servant. Yeah. And serve others very well uh -huh. during this Christian walk. Yeah. I'm not saying that it was easy all the time, uh -huh. but you took on the role of a servant, yeah. and you did a pretty good job. Yeah. You took your last time, and you gave it to the need. Yeah. Uh -huh. In Christ's name, sake. Yeah. You took food off of your table, yeah. and gave it to the hungry. Is that right? You did the best to please the rest. But that still wasn't good enough. As long as you're in the world and you're, and you're wrapped up in Christ, you're going to have to take on the role of a servant this morning. Thank God for Jesus this morning, who he is our life. and sinful world, yeah. the time will come when you will have to take hold of your treasure. Yes, sir. Although it seems difficult in this life, but one of these old days, you're going to have to take hold of your treasure. Yeah. Your treasure will come in the form 
of Jesus Christ. Is that right? Don't be discouraged this morning, saints. Your treasure will come to you. Your treasure is Jesus Christ. Is that right? Jesus Christ is the author and the finisher of our
coming back. You need to be in the safety zone. In the same arm of the Lord. When you This is your day, this is your time. Where you go.
If you're interested in knowing what the church, what the business about the church is about, and what it's doing, where money's being spent, come and be a part of that. One hour, six o'clock on March 26th. Six o'clock p.m. Tuesday. And we would love for you to know because you don't want to get information second, third hand. You need to get it first hand. Amen. Amen. We all know all of you about God's business. Interesting about what's going on with business. Amen. Praise God. But if you're not, understand. We're going to ask you to come because there are some decisions we need to make about certain things and we need your Thank you. Uh, let us stand in this